السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیو یو ایور ونڈرڈ وٹ میکس دا منتھ آف رمضان سچ اے ہولی اینڈ سینٹیفائڈ منتھ ان دس شارٹ ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو مینشن ٹو ریزنز نمبر ون اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ میڈ فیسٹنگ آبلیگیٹری ان دس منتھ ان آڈر فار دا بلیورس ٹو اٹین تقوا بیسکلی تقوا مینس اویئرنیس آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ بینگ کانشیس آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ asking uh, before we take any action asking ourselves whether this action uh, will take us uh, closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or further away will it be uh, a means to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or will it be a, a means for displeasure uh, this is taqwa the second reason um, that makes Ramadan such a sanctified month is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose this month to reveal his book Al-Quran and Al-Quran is the book of guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Shahru ramadhan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran Hudan linnasi wa bayyinatim min al-huda wal-furqan The month of Ramadan is the one in which the Quran was revealed as guidance for mankind and as clear signs that show the right way and distinguish the right from the wrong Al-Furqan. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes guidance of the Qur'an specific to the muttaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Now here's a question. Uh, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the Qur'anic uh, guidance specific for the muttaqeen? Isn't the Qur'anic guidance for all mankind? Imam Al-Qurtubi rahimahullah ta'ala explains uh, this, uh, this question. He says, Allah specified the Quranic guidance for the muttaqeen even though it was for all mankind in order to honor the status of the, uh, of the believers who possess taqwa because they believed and they affirmed all that was, uh, all that was, uh, that was in it. Uh, so he mentions two characteristics of the believers uh, or the people who are possessing taqwa that they possess these two characteristics and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is honoring them because of these two characteristics. One is that they believe in the message. Number two is they affirm it. There are two different things, believing and affirming. The muttaqeen, they do both. <clears throat> Hence, the purpose of enjoining the fast of Ramadan and revealing of the Quran in this month, joining both of these events together in this month, is for the believers to realize that Uh, whatever they want to attain in this life, taqwa or something else, they need to go back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance, right? Uh, in order for them to learn how to attain taqwa, they need to refer back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the message, to the divine revelation. We also learn that the, oh, the path that leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is through his divine book, Al-Quran. There is no other path that is acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is very important for us to know and remember. When a believer develops the awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the awareness of God, the conscience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it becomes easier for them to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, because before, uh, before they take any step, before they take any uh, action, uh, before they do anything, they uh, ask themselves whether this is going to be a means uh, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. And uh, they will also... Uh, uh, work to ensure that what they are doing is done uh, uh, correctly. So they need guidance for that. And they, that means that they will have to refer back to the Quran because the Quran is the book of guidance. We also learned that Quran is the ultimate textbook of attaining taqwa. Quran is the ultimate textbook of attaining taqwa for acquiring awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, much has been said and written regarding uh, the Quran, how to connect with the Quran. So we need to go back and look into that, how we can connect uh, with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can attain uh, the, the taqwa, uh, the awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hence, we must make Ramadan as an annual retreat in our lives, uh, an annual retreat in our lives to reconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reconnect with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to... Uh, to reaffirm uh, our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book by uh, questioning ourselves, reflecting in our lives, whether our lives conform to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. 
whether are we uh, uh, considering Allah's book as our guidance or not. Do we refer back to the Quran for uh, guidance in our lives, uh, not just in the matter of taqwa, but in more than taqwa? Um, so this is something for us to reflect every Ramadan. Uh, with that, I conclude. Uh, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.